Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Get your Bibles out. Let's go. You guys, if all the stuff you've been doing bad, stop now. Pay attention to the screen. She here. Yeah, this lady right here, man, blessed this show last time she was here so much, man. I watched that episode. I reclipped it. I reshared it. Uh, I did a, a, a what they call a flashback. I made sure people understood that this lady, this queen, was in the building, man. How you doing today? I am doing wonderful. Thank y'all for inviting me. Well, how was that introduction, though? Let's that talk. introduction was, <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> loved it. Thank you so much for coming, man. You it's just a, a blessing to be uh, in just in the midst of where two or more gather, that I shall be in the midst. He said, two or more? Two or more, come on now. Okay, so therefore, God is in here with us. He is. Let's just get usher him on into the room. Come on in the room. That's the way they sang it. <laughs> <laughs> How you been doing? I mean, you know, you've been through so much, man, within the last two years. Two years. Right? Yes. Uh -huh. The last two years, two years yeah. it's, been, it's been some ups and downs, you know, but you're still here. Praise God. You're still here. You know, um, I, I thought about it when I invited you. I said, man, you know, uh, that's one thing about Ruth and uh, Naomi and Oprah and all of them. They they just kept going. Uh -huh. And this is the way you have to do sometime. God, you can't write this out. This is nothing that you can pretty much. You, it's not your it's, it's the Lord's plan. That's right. God's plan. That's, that's right. right. So at the end of the day, um, how are you holding up? I am holding I uh, I am holding. It has been a, the last two years have been, I don't know, I can't even describe it really. I can't even really articulate it um, because I have really came out of who I, who I thought I was going in and who I am now. Uh, I would put up a shield. I try to be all hard because, you know, I got to be hard around E. Mm -hmm. But I would try to be all hard. But um, the more that I've been going through what I'm going through, I'm learning that it's okay not to be okay. Right. It's okay to let people know that you're struggling. Uh, not at all times, but it's okay when you're down to say, I'm down. And then on those days that you're down, then you get yourself back up and you keep going. Uh, there have been a many days that I did not feel like getting out of bed. I did not feel like being a parent, didn't feel like being a pastor, didn't feel like being a human. Uh, uh, but all I can say is, but by the grace of God. God's strength. Somewhere along the way, um, I'd get a another fresh wind. Somewhere along the way, I'd get energy. I would. I'd feel like going on. Um, uh, my thoughts would be cloudy, and then all of a sudden they would be straight. Um, and I felt like that through all the pain and trauma that I've been through, I got a purpose. Wow. That I just didn't go through it for nothing. I got a purpose. Wow. You know, uh, just um, just a wonderful. Um thing to to know that you you just feel like going on um but you definitely look like a breath of fresh air you 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 know you come in you you can tell that you want that that, that you understand you know about self-worth you understand about self-healing mm -hmm. you know uh along with the healing of of god you know so that's the good part about it you know that you know the word see there are some out there that don't know the word that's true and when you don't know it and you don't know your faith you don't even know how to deal with situations that some people would have been jumped off off a bridge we i had one guy in here say his mother jumped off the bridge when she was pregnant i it's some crazy stuff can go on you know what i mean mm -hmm. and and he's still uh here you know and uh it's just things like that that make you know that people that don't understand the word sometimes don't know how to function in the midst of things you know and even That's when true. you do it's not easy it's That's not true. easy because mm -mm. you can know the word and not know how to process it in your life right 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 and you know it's a difference it's a difference in knowing the word and it and and making it real using it because you can know the word you can study the word all day you could go to bible class bible school but applying it and using it is totally different because like when that trauma hits you or that situation comes up, you can say, well, I know what I would have told John or I know what I would have told Betty, but Anita, what you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. So how are you going to walk this thing out according to God's word, God's will and God's way? How are you going to do this? It's a step by step process. It's a day by day, moment by moment. It's a trial and error, to, if, to, if the truth be told, because we all fall down. 
but we got to get back up. Amen. Because what? the way how you're supposed to lead your life, you lead your life um, not always telling people what to do. It's people look at your life. You know, because you can tell somebody all day long and they're not going to do it. Because a lot of people feel like, well, you haven't been through. You don't know what I'm feeling. So God put us through certain things to equip us to be able to say, well, I went through this. Right. And this is what I did. Or for while you're going through it, people are watching you go through something and knew that you lost your your husband and stuff like that. And how all of a sudden they can't find you. And then all of a sudden you reappear and you have this strength about you. But some days that you're down and they can see it, but you're back up. So they know it's an everyday struggle and you're not giving up. But you're able to, you know, fess up to the fact that, just like you say, I'm not okay some days. That I'm not just saying that I'm perfect. Right. Because a lot of people <clears throat> do walk like they're perfect. Yeah. And will not admit some of their downfalls. You know what I mean? Because they right. don't want to be looked upon in a certain way because they're men pleasers, really. Mm -hmm. That's how you look at people are like that. Right. They're, they're not really walking as they should. So that's how I look on, you know, certain situations. And that's really good. I like that because I, um, this is one of the things that I, I um, that I had to grow to. Um, that it's nothing, nothing can beat your experience. We can do mm -hmm. opinions all day long, but that experience, mm -hmm. it's, it's an anointing with that experience because if you can make it, I can make it. If I right. can make it, you can make it. But if you're just telling me you can make it, I'm like, did you go through losing a husband, a, a mother and a sister? No, I lost my dog. Well, that's not the same thing mm -hmm. as losing a person that you woke up with every day. Mm -hmm. and, and a sister who you called on the phone every day mm -hmm. and, and a mother who birthed you. So it's our, our, our experiences uh, uh, helps us and it helps us to grow. Mm -hmm. And so during these last two years, um, I, I, I have came out of my shell. I'm still coming out of my shell. Um, I'm not, I never wanted to be in front of the cameras or the one that, you know, I'm always working behind the scenes and now God has like removed every, almost everything around me. Just kind of like, okay, you were back here. Now you're up here. Right. And so, uh, and, um, and you're going to have to walk the walk accordingly. Uh, even, even as I'm walking in pain and walking openly, God is saying, I got you. Like I, I'm, I'm using the word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So he's, he's, he's showing me that. And it's a difference in hearing it. Cause I would hear it all the time. Okay, God, you know, you never leave me nor forsake me. But then when your mother is gone, when your husband is gone, when your sister who you depended on after your mother and your husband left, which my sister, and my husband died 77 days apart. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, you don't have nobody else but to depend on God. And so it's one of those it's one of those experiences that you learn and that you grow from. Man, you know, um, I know things where we were in the same place and I, I thought about you not being with the one that you had always been with, being at these functions, being at the gala, being at that movie premiere and then uh Bishop Omar being in the movie, um, and I had you on my mind because I can be doing a million things, but God be talking to me about individuals and circumstances that people are going through because of the way that I feel for people that I care about, people that I love. Mm -hmm. And it was just something for me to see you still coming to those functions. and but the, but the But him being just like Coretta Scott King was where Martin Luther King continued to be magnified while she had to stay the course and live through the, even though now she's passed on, that was a time when I thought about her the same way. And and and, mm -hmm. he, and monuments going up and streets going up and him not being there, but her at the time she having children and everything else with him the same way that you're dealing with, you know, dealing with things and pushing on. So um, how was it, you know, actually being in these places and, be, and him not being there, how were you able to cope? Wow. Um, quite frankly, at first, I didn't want to be at the places. Uh, I had a hard time seeing couples. I had a hard time seeing families uh, because we had a family. We were a family. And so I would sit there. And even going to church, I would be mad at families in church. 
Um, and so, but God had to touch me and heal my heart. And so when I began to go out on the different uh, galas and the different events, uh, uh, I would sit there and I would think about the times that we would get dressed up. And so it was just memories started coming, but they were happy memories. So I was able to embrace that. And then I was surrounded by so much love. When I tell you I have not walked this walk by myself at all, I have not. I have a huge village, uh, uh, different ones calling, texting at different times. And so I, I do truly think that, but just me uh, being in that place, and I know that I wanted to represent my husband, my beloved husband. I want to represent him, and I want to re represent him well wherever I go for however long that I can. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.